Joining me now, Trump campaign national spokeswoman Katrina Pearson. Katrina, great to have you here. Are you having fun at the convention? Great to be here, yes. We are having a great time at the convention. We have been waiting for this for a long time. It's uh, going to be a great week. You know, 13 months. Uh, this all started for you guys, well, a little before, but anyway, June 16th of last year, you were told all the way down the line that your candidate was not serious, that this was just a joke. Uh, that he couldn't do it, that it, the next juncture it was, well, so he, he got this far, but he'll <laughs> never win a primary, and here we are. It's got to feel great. It feels fantastic, and to your point, Trump didn't have a campaign. He doesn't have a ground game. He doesn't have the delegates. He's not going to be the nominee. We have, when the voting starts, the people will decide, and here we are. Mr. Trump signed the pledge to support the nominee. It's apparently the only one willing to, to support <laughs> the pledge. Uh, um, but we're here, 10 million votes later, 38 states later. Uh, the energy and the excitement and the enthusiasm of someone outside the system. We now have a choice in November to vote for somebody that just wants to represent Americans. You know, and, and I have to tell you, I, I can't help but look at the the never Trumpers. Paul Ryan making a, an absolute idiotic remark today. Trump is not uh, he is a conservative, but he's just not his kind of conservative. About the time you think. Paul Ryan has uh, joined the unity Trump train. Uh, he says, the heck with you. I, I mean, Donald Trump is showing himself to be a very patient man, in my view. Uh, is he going to put up with uh, this nonsense uh, much longer? You know what, Lou, primary's over. The Trump train has left the station. We are going into November. We are uniting the party. You're, you're going to have those individuals for their own personal reasons, yeah. whether it's ego or personal interest with their special interest groups. Yeah. But other than that, the people are backing Mr. Trump. The delegates that I've seen that are exciting, they're women and they're black and they're Hispanic. You know, all those Trump people that don't exist, right. they're here and they came far away. A Hispanic lady stopped me today and said her, a log hit her car and she bought a car because she was not going to miss the Trump nomination. Well, good That's for how excited they are. And uh, we're going to hear from Melania Trump. We're going to hear from a lot of folks here tonight. Uh, and, and the message is keep America safe. Uh, he is now, he has proclaimed himself to be the law and order Absolutely. candidate. Uh, we're going to see that uh, play out with Mike uh, Pence, his vice presidential choice, because he is certainly a constitutionalist, uh, a conservative. Uh, the poll numbers look very tight. Mm -hmm. uh, You've got to be thrilled uh, with where you are. We are thrilled, uh, mainly because, again, the Never Trumpers, uh, one of the reasons they said they didn't want to support Trump is because he couldn't win and that he, he couldn't beat Hillary. And, and, and here we are, ahead in some polls even.